What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a bit of a different video for you that's pretty interesting. Basically, if you've used Discord before, you may be used to this little RPC connection that pops up here. What is RPC? Well, it just says playing followed by the game's name and a little book. When you click on the person, it tells you what game they're playing. But you can click on it to view who else is also playing it or recently playing it. And then it shows you various information about the game itself that the game can pick. Now, of course, here I've got it set to Visual Studio. You can see that I'm editing XAML, app.xaml, developing techno account switcher C Sharp WPF. And it says how long I've been elapsed in a file. If I want to make my Discord a bit smaller, head into Visual Studio and open up a different file or tab across to it. You'll see it changes here in Discord. It's pretty cool and pretty useful to let your friends or people know exactly what you're working on and when. So if you're an open source developer or someone like that, that would like to show this sort of information via Discord, just so people know when you're actively working on a project or a certain file, then this is a great way of doing it. So how exactly do we go about installing that plugin? Well, all you need to do is open up Visual Studio and head into any project or simply make a new one. Then at the very top, we'll head to Extensions, followed by Manage Extensions. Then we'll make sure we're on the Online tab, and in the top right, we'll type in a Discord space RPC and hit enter. Then you'll see this list pop up over here. And what we'll be looking for is Discord RPC for Visual Studio 2017 and 2019. Of course, if a new version of Visual Studio is released, the name of this will probably change, but it's got this little logo over here, 14,000 downloads, which is by far the most downloaded one. And all you need to do is simply click on the name and hit download. It will then download and it'll tell you changes are scheduled. Simply just restart Visual Studio. So we'll hit close and we'll hit the X button in the top right. Once it closes, this window will pop up over here and we'll hit modify. And then if it needs to end any more Visual Studio tasks, you have the option to do it here with the end tasks button, or you can go ahead and close them yourself. Then we can hit close and I'll simply open up Discord. Of course, if you have your Discord closed, the connection will fail and you'll get a little error message in your console. So opening up Visual Studio, I'll simply go into any project and watching the Discord, you can see that I'm currently playing Microsoft Visual Studio. And this is because I've manually added this as a game. If you've done this, simply go to the user settings in the bottom left of Discord, then go across to game activity and find the Visual Studio you added yourself manually. Simply hit the X in the top right to get rid of it. Once we've done that, we can see playing Visual Studio with a little bookmark next to it. And it tells us exactly what file we're editing. Awesome. Clicking around in here changes what it displays and anyone can go ahead, click on your name and see what you're doing. Cool, right? Well, let's say that you don't want to show the workspace that you're currently in. So I don't want to say developing techno account switcher. I want that to be hidden. All I want to show is the name of the program I'm using, Visual Studio, the file, and the language on the left hand side. Time is fine, but I just want to hide this main workspace or project name over here. How exactly do we do that? Well, this plugin actually has its options pretty well laid out. All we need to do is head into Visual Studio, head up to Tools, and then look down for Discord Rich Presence. Hover over that and we'll click Settings. Then inside of here, we can go ahead and start pressing different buttons here. So of course you can enable or disable it up here. Turning that off, we'll turn it off here. Save and close. There we go. So I'll turn it back on. And I'm pretty sure I need to restart for Visual Studio for that to pop up and start working. Let's just click around a bit. Yes, there we go. Simply just had to restart Visual Studio and that seems to be working again. Probably just a glitch with the plugin. But anyways, if you want to disable it, you'll probably be better off uninstalling the plugin entirely. So let's go ahead and hide the solution name. So it won't say developing whatever. And the rest of this I'm quite comfortable with. I'll leave secret mode for a bit later just to show you what hiding the solution name does. That's all it does. It just simply hides the solution name. Pretty self-explanatory, but now you've seen exactly what it does. I'll show it again, save and close, and there it is. Now if we go ahead and click the secret mode, save and close, Visual Studio. I'm working on something you're not allowed to know about, sorry. Pretty cool, right? Let's head back into Discord Rich Presence, Settings, and I'll go ahead and turn off secret mode, save, and we're back to where we were. So that is the Discord RPC plugin for Visual Studio. If you're interested in a similar plugin for Visual Studio Code, make sure to check the video linked down in the description below. And I'll be going through basically the same plugin, but the one for Visual Studio, as well as the settings over there. Anyways, my name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video helped you. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao.